But 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 here another thing though, like I, I bodyguard this guy who was a pimp before, and he told me, he said, Look, if a man have too much of one thing, he start trying other things. So as soon as I heard that, I went celibate for like two years. Cause I ain't even trying to have like, bro, I think a lot of things is evil, bro. And in the music industry, you see a lot of things that's evil. And they'll tell you you crazy because you don't agree with it. I seen this. All of this stuff that's coming out, I've been saying it, bro. I've been saying it. That's why I start taking gigs and I'm bringing the guys with me because it's like, all right, I don't want to be the only straight guy in here. See what I'm saying? Then at the same time, if something happens, if you on a team with like five security dudes, they might be seven feet tall, but they they five feet tall in their heart. Well, they, a lot of them be soft, scary. They not gangster at all. Like they gonna run and leave you and call the police. Like they not gonna shoot no gun, bro. Name one time you heard about a security guard, a bodyguard shooting somebody. Uh, Snoop Dogg's bodyguard. That was twenty years ago. That's why you hear all the rappers saying, I don't need no bodyguard. You hear that in every song. That's why. That's why I charge what I charge. Because you get me, me and phone them coming out. And half the time, people know not to try us. So we don't really have to do nothing. But like, I've worked with people, dudes like, like that dude Kane Kong, he big, but he'll knock you out. But most dudes not doing that. They get knocked out or calling 12. Back to the Diddy thing. What was your actual interactions with Diddy like? So my interactions with him was this. He had a he had an appearance at this club called The Vibe in Chicago on Kingsbury when it was open. I was head of security of this club. So after that club closed, after the night was over, he had an after party. So the manager of the club said, I need you to come with me to the after party. So me and my other homie, we go to the after party. When we get to the after party, bro, like, it was a lot of females in there who uh, who stand up when they use the bathroom. You see what I'm saying? So I'm thinking to myself, like, man, like, this is this this kind of wild on bro. Like, this how y'all come. That's how if this how y'all live, this how y'all live. But they want to keep it a secret. You see what I'm saying? So. He real touchy Philly too. Like he grabbed this, he grabbed this other guy know by his neck. Grabbed him by his neck and was like, Do you have love in your heart, young man? You wanna be a roach? Or you wanna walk with God? I'm looking like, you gonna let him grab you like that? But then, you know, he be on some tough guy shit too. So I guess he a tough uh cape did, touch. Did you see him do anything with anybody or anything or? No, I seen him holding hands with two men. Damn. Like this. <laughs> I seen that. I seen that. So, you know, like, they'll, they'll have a dude come out with the paper signing NDA. No, I'm going to the car, bro. I'm good. I'm not signing no NDA. I'm going to the car. I'm good. Seen that, bro. So, seeing all this coming in the news, people was telling me I was crazy. So, I was a hater. Hey, you know what? I don't want to party with the girls with the with the third leg, but I'm good. I just be with the guys chilling. I don't gotta be in here with y'all. But if you're getting fifteen hundred for the night, you're gonna try to find a gray area to operate in. You feel me? I seen these things. What do you think about them accusing Diddy of having cameras in his house so he could record celebrities and politicians and use it as blackmail? So. I firmly believe that's true because in that sector of people, a lot of them practice Scientology. And Scientology, that was their thing. They would get people in compromising positions. They would hold that footage over their head and get them to agree to things. You see what I'm saying? So, like, you know what, if you... Okay, if you see somebody with the chain on, with that little vial of blood on their neck, well, they a Scientologist, bro. So it's definitely going to be footage of them somewhere doing some compromising. That's how a lot of these agreements get made. People get 
endorsement. How did they get that deal out of nowhere? Because, like, I think he wanted them Scientology people, bro. Because that's probably where he got that from. And being somebody who people call when things get crazy, like, some of the most powerful people I bodyguarded for like to get tied up. You feel me? They got videos of them getting tied up, somebody spanking them with a whip. A lot of powerful guys operate like that. So the things I'm seeing with him, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. You're not gonna you're not gonna settle a lawsuit with somebody for 30 million, bro, if it's not some truth there. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam. Capone News.